Hi, I'm Jason Collins, and this video is on the axiom of continuity. The idea behind continuity is that people have similar preferences for similar bundles. If X is preferred to Y, bundles close to X are preferred to bundles close to Y. There are no jumps in utility. Continuity guarantees that every preference relation can be represented by a continuous utility function and vice versa. Here are two formal definitions. For the first definition, a preference relation is continuous if for any X that is strictly preferred to Y, there exists a number epsilon greater than zero such that every bundle A that is less distant from X than epsilon and every bundle B that is less distant than Y from X epsilon results in A being preferred to B. To put this another way, a preference relation is continuous if for any X being preferred to Y, there are some neighborhoods, n x epsilon and m y epsilon around x and y, such that for every a in the neighborhood of x and every b in the neighborhood of y, we have a preferred to b. One way to picture this is just imagine a circle around bundle x of radius epsilon. This circle represents the neighborhood. There will always exist some circle, even if very small, within which every bundle a is preferred to bundle Y. The intuition behind this definition is that a very small change in your bundle should not result in a sudden switch of your preferences. If you prefer five bananas to two oranges, you will likely prefer 4.9 bananas to two oranges. And if not, there will be some amount of bananas between 4.9 and five that you prefer over two oranges. Here's another intuitive example. If you prefer a Mercedes to a Toyota, there will be some level of defect in the Mercedes that you will be willing to accept while still preferring the Mercedes to the Toyota. Now for a second definition. If X, Y, and Z are lotteries, with X being preferred to Y and Y being preferred to Z, the continuity axiom requires that there exists a probability P, such as Y is equally as good as a mix of X and Z. That is, there exists P such that P, P times X plus one minus P times Z is in that that bundle is indifferent to Y. This diagram uh, illustrates continuity under this definition. On the diagram, we have our three bundles, X, Y, and Z. And each sits on a different indifference curve. The indifference curve that X is on is higher than that of Y, which is higher than that of Z. That is, X is preferred to Y, which is preferred to Z. Now consider a gamble that pays X with probability P and Z with probability one minus P. Each value of P would result in a gamble with utility falling between that of X and Z. If we were to draw a line between X and Z, you could think of the utility of the gamble for each value of P as having the same utility as a bundle on that line. Under the continuity axiom, there would be no holes in that line. For some value of P, that gamble will be on the same indifference curve for Y. At that point, P times X plus one minus P times Z, that bundle, the, the agent is indifferent between that and Y. Now I'm going to give you an example of discontinuous preferences. And this is the type of preference called lexicographic preferences. Lexicographic preferences occur where an agent prefers any amount of good X to any amount of good Y. If choosing between bundles of goods, the agent will choose the bundle with the most X, regardless of the amount of Y. They will only consider the amount of Y if the amount of X in the two bundles is identical. So consider an agent with lexicographic preferences who has offered the following combinations of X and Y. Bundle A has one unit of X, one unit of Y. Bundle B has one unit of X and two units of Y. And bundle C has 1.1 units of X and one unit of Y. Their preference ranking will be C being strictly preferred to B being strictly preferred to A. They prefer C as it has more X than the other two options. As A and B have the same amount of X, the agent distinguishes them based on the quantity of Y preferring B. This function is not continuous as there is a jump whenever there is an increase in X, even if Y is large. At an infinitesimal amount, epsilon of X to bundle A, 
and the preference relation between bundle A and bundle B flips. These three uh, bundles, A, B, and C, are represented on this diagram. First, let's consider the preferences in terms of the first definition, being that there are some neighborhoods around A and B, such that we will always prefer another bundle of goods within the neighborhood of B to any bundles within the neighborhood of A. Around A, I've drawn a circle of radius epsilon, which we consider to be the neighborhood. No matter how small I draw this circle, that is, no matter how small epsilon, any bundle within the circle that lies to the right of A, that is, contains uh, more than one unit of X, is preferred to bundle B. There is a jump in preferences to the right of A. One interesting feature of lexicographic preferences is, it, is that you cannot draw indifference curves on this figure. If a bundle differs from another, it must be strictly preferred to the other as no amount of Y can make up for any amount of X. We can also consider lexicographic preferences in terms of the second definition of continuity. There is no P for which P of A plus one minus P of C leads to indifference with B. When P equals one, B is strictly preferred to A. For any P less than one, P of A, P times A plus one minus P of C is strictly preferred to B as any non-zero share of C makes the combination of A and C preferred to B.